Okay, so I'm going to show you how to torque down the head bolts on uh, this module here. We have the cylinder head basics. We're in the, the last chapter here, page four. We're going to kind of walk through here and show you the next few pages and get you through this torquing sequence. So for starters, it wants us to point out the number one cylinder head uh, bolt or the first cylinder head bolt. And we see which one that is here on our diagram. So if we look here, the black heads here are all the bolts. And we can click right there. Perfect. Now on this next page, it wants us to do phase one torque specification. So if we look over here, we have the different phases. And what this means is we're going to go around to all the bolts for the first phase and do it at this setting. And then we're going to go around after that to all of them and do this setting. But in this case, it's asking us to do only phase one on the first cylinder head bolt to make sure that we have this. Okay, so we'll put the uh, torque wrench there. We'll set the torque wrench to 50. Now, to set the torque wrench, you want to set it to uh, the line in the middle here, not the line down by the number. And the reason that they do that is now when we set it to that torque specification, you can actually see... Uh, what it's set to uh, instead of covering up the number like that. So now we can see we're set at 50 Newton meters and we're going to just crank this until that turned red there um, and then we will check. Perfect. So that red was telling us that it was clicking which is what a, one of these torque wrenches will do to let you know that you're there. So we've moved on to the next uh, page we completed phase one which was just using the torque wrench um, and now we've got phase two which is using this guy and we're going to do that to the number one cylinder head bolt and we will go to 120 degrees because that is our phase two spec perfect so now I, this is probably the one that gets the most people here because this is a big process all together. So let's work through this real quick. And if you hear a crying baby in the background, I apologize, but uh, you got to do what you got to do, right? So we'll work through these real quick. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number ten. Okay, so with the torque wrench done, I always like to make a habit of returning that back to zero. It's what you should do with torque wrenches. Most designs of torque wrenches, you should return back to zero like that. And we're going to move on to phase two. So now we're going to get to 120 degrees. Now, this is actually my second time recording all the way through this video because I um, uh, screwed up a step. And I'll explain that here in just a second. So if it happens to you, you know why you failed. Um, but my, I did go through after I failed this and verified that, um, that I could make it work. See, and now, uh, no, nope, I'm good still. I'm talking about other things. And, um, I actually went up to about 130 degrees one time and it still took it. Um, so if you go a little over, don't, uh, don't throw in the towel and reset the page just yet. Um, but what my biggest problem was is I moved this angle gauge uh, over to number three here after completing number two. I went up to three and I clicked on it and I removed it because I thought that I was wrong for a second until I looked at the uh, torque sequence and I realized, no, I was right. Um, so now we're correct. So and there's a few things that if it says that you're wrong or, or that it was incorrect, there's a few things that you can look at. Um, make sure that uh, you're doing the correct torque sequence. Make sure that when you move this, that you're moving it to the correct one. Because And, and then don't pick it back up until you have done the torque setting. Because I went to number three, I picked it up, 
and then nope that was right i put it back on and and it failed me and then every time through since to verify that i was doing it right not on video and on video it's worked just fine as long as i don't pick it back up so don't pick it back up follow this all the way through and uh and you got it so if you have any other questions let me know and uh hope hope this helps thanks